there's no de no denying that there's a wide range of difference in access to opportunity. It isn't obvious to me that that can be rectified in any straightforward sense because the dimensions of potential inequality are innumerable. So, for example, it isn't obvious to me at all, all that if you're poor and young, you're more disadvantaged than someone who's old and rich. And most, because most people who are old and rich would swap their wealth in a second to be young and poor. Well, wealth is relative. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, well, this is exactly my point, is that, is that calculating the potential dimensions of oppression is a... See, this is the transformation that's occurred in the postmodern, what would you call, variation of the underlying Marxism that used to play the inequality game on the economic side, is the dimensions of, of oppression and inequality have multiplied endlessly. And, and that's, a, that's a very bad game because there is some dimension on which you're an oppressor. You can be absolutely certain of that from, in, from the perspective of that game. You know, and you, you pointed to it yourself, you know, on the, on the minority side, there's your Jewish heritage, but on the oppressor side, well, that's assuming that the Jews are allowed to be a minority, you know, as opposed to an oppressor, and we're way past that. But on the other side, there's the fact that you're white and male. And so, but, you can take any given individual and you can find the dimension on which they're an oppressor. And this is what disturbs me profoundly about the equity game. And, you know, you, 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 you elided two terms, I would say, and, and, and I don't understand this exactly, but this is something that I do see characteristic of the Democrats in particular, because there's an insistence on the Democrat side that equity means equality of opportunity. And that's not what it means. It means equality of outcome. And no, your own I don't vice agree president, yeah, Kamala. Yeah, well, but that's yeah. how she's defined no, I it. I understand. That's 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 what the. I mean, there may be we people who interpret equity the equality as equality of equal. outcomes. Yeah. Then why do we use the word equity? Because look, the only reason that word was introduced into the academic parlance to begin with was to elide the difference between equality of opportunity and equity and and equality of outcome. I can't speak for every Democrat. I, I believe I can speak for most of us in Congress when I say that our aspiration as Democrats is to rectify that imbalance of opportunity, to afford it to more, not at the not to, not being detrimental to those who already have it, but incrementally afford more. It is the equality of opportunity to which we aspire. I, I do not know many, I'm sure there are some, that would say the objective is the equality of outcome. By, by, almost by definition, that's socialism or communism, which doesn't work. Well, there, there, yeah. there are certainly plenty of them in, the, in academia. Plenty. Understood. I'm, I'm I'm and, and that I understand. I'm talking, but I am talking about, and this is where the branding, the angertainment, the division, I think is a little bit misportrayed. And, that, and I'm not saying that. I'm not speaking for all, but I, that is indeed my aspiration as a Democrat, I believe most, is that I, the I, equality I of opportunity. You. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I agree with you. I believe that's the case. This is one of the things that makes me curious and befuddled by this situation. Because it is my experience when I'm talking to Democrats of the moderate stripe that they're, what they're attempting to foster is best conceptualized as the equality of opportunity that's core to the American vision. But that isn't what the radicals on the left are pushing. And I, for the life of me, I cannot see, and I, as you know, I worked on the Democrat side for a substantial amount of time, and I've had this discussion for like 10 years, and I still see no movement whatsoever on the Democrat moderate side to understand the threat that the leftist radicals pose to the, to the moderate Democrat mission even, by eliding the difference between equality of outcome and equality of opportunity. So, so, and here's one example of that, is that I do believe, and I'm trying to look at this from the perspective of a politically informed psychologist, that part of the reason that Trump is the attractive phenomenon that he is, is because the moderate Democrats won't draw a line between them, themselves and the radicals. And this is part of what I pointed to earlier, that's part and parcel of the moderate refusal to define when the left goes too far. Now, you did to some degree, because you said you don't believe in equality of outcome. 
right? And you said also that most of your most of your peers, your particularly your reasonable peers, also don't believe that. And that might even be true of someone like Bernie Sanders, because I saw Sanders become entirely befuddled in an interview not so long ago when he was pushed on the distinction between equity and equality of opportunity. But it's a cardinal danger. And, and the reason I'm trying to bra- draw this to your attention at the moment is because I do believe that the fruits of that evil seed are making themselves manifest in this spate of anti-Semitism. And my ex- my understanding of the pers- persecution of the Jews going back millennia is that the Jews are almost always a successful minority. And there's very complex reasons for that, many of which are cultural. Now, you can attribute that to conspiratorial collusion behind the scenes, and the anti-Semites love to do that, whether they're on the right or the left. But the left has an additional systemic problem with anti-Semitism at the moment, which is their definition of oppression. And oppression is equated to disproportionate representation in positions of privilege. And if that's going to be the definition, then the Jews are first on the firing block.